guys! Welcome back to Alicia TV. So for today, I'm going to do some reviewing, swatching, and basically talking about this brand. So this is called Lilac Cosmetics by Lily Maymax. So we all know her super hot and ang ganda niya. She's a Filipino na naka-base na sa Australia. So I'm so excited to talk about her lipsticks kasi parang super promising niya. So yes, I'm so excited and by the way, I'm back. So I'm back to uploading every week. So I hope you tune in and I will talk about, you know, more on makeup, skincare, yung mga updated skincare routine ko, mga morning routine, mukbang or something. Basta ang dami kong gustong i-explore pa. So I'm so excited and let's get into it. So, Lilac by Lily Maymac. Lilac is a beauty essential that can fit your tiniest bag and even your pocket. So, but it can withstand everyday use for your travels all year round. You can wear it with any outfit, day or night, even any seasons. Just like Lily Maymac, we believe that great things come in small packages. Okay, so... Um, I got this from PR. Super cute. So basically, ang sa kanya lang talaga. This is very travel friendly and day to night. Ayon, more on mga nudes yung mga shades niya. So I got Yasmin, Peony, and Zahara. So mag swatches mo na tayo. I'll go first with Yasmin. By the way, sobrang ganda ng packaging niya. Look. So this is for $17. Medyo mahal siya. As usual, yung mga celebrities, saka yung mga brands nila, medyo mahal talaga. Kasi because of their name. But, let's see, usually naman mga promising sila. So, tingnan natin. And when I put on lipsticks kasi, most especially kapag mga liquid matte lipsticks, naglalagay ako ng lip conditioner. So this is from MAC. Or kahit anong petroleum jelly, papaw. So, ito try ko to. Itong shade lang na to, with or without the lip conditioner. So, we can check and compare. Okay, here we go. So, first time ko to mata try. Although sa Instagram last time, nung pinadala to, I think mga one to two months ago, na swatch ko na siya sa hand ko. Pero first time ko siya ilagay sa lips ko. Okay, so it's already dry and medyo sticky and weird siya. So, ayan, parang, alam mo yun, hindi siya yung matte na powder finish or something. So, this is what it looks like dry. Okay, so I will just remove it. And then, dun sa next shade, hindi na ako maglalagay ng lip conditioner to see kung same effect ba siya. Baka kasi ito yung parang soft matte effect or soft matte mousse. Kaya parang hindi na kailangan ng petroleum jelly, para hindi drying. Ganun lang naman ako naglalagay. Naglalagay ako para hindi mag-chop yung lips ko. Okay, so next is Peony! So I'm so happy kasi favorite flower ko to. So... I'm happy with the shade name. By the way, the smell of this, ang bango. Amoy. Amoy candy. So it's already dry and this is what it looks like. This one. Excuse me. Okay, so hindi pa lang ako nagtesting kanina, so gusto ko lang itest kung kiss proof siya and iinom ako ng tubig. Tignan natin kung magma mark. So let's kiss or I'll kiss. 
It's not kiss proof. Drink proof. Let's try. Um, nasa ba? Kita nyo ba? Ayan, ayan. Again. Meron pa rin. So, ano lang siya. It's like a normal soft matte lipstick na ayun. Just cruelty free, vegan, long lasting. Pero parang feel ko hindi siya long lasting. So, hindi ko matatest actually kung long lasting siya. I'll test this tomorrow kasi gabi na ngayon, nag-film ako. So, by the end of this video, doon ko ipapakita yung full day test ko. Okay, next. Kita nyo ba? Para siyang... Para siyang water. Super water. Yun ang shade niya. Sobrang nipis ng formula. Kaya parang medyo nahihirapan ako sa paglagay. Yung baba lang yung nilagyan ko. Tapos ginanto ka lang. Parang pwede na siyang mag nagmumuha siyang tint. Sa sobrang nipis ng consistency niya. Actually, parang okay nga to. Parang natural effect lang. Ito parang nakatint lang ako, in fairness. Try ko nga to sa ibang looks ko on other days. Okay, so it's already dry. This is what it looks like. This is the Hara. So, just a recap. This is Yasmin, Peony, and Zahara. Okay, so ang dami ko nang sinabi all throughout this video. So, just a recap. Para lang ma-summarize ko lahat ng thoughts ko about this lipstick brand. So, as of now, first off, ang bango niya. As in, type na type ko yung amoy niya. Amoy candy na parang vanilla. Parang ang sarap kainin. Amoy candy talaga. So, that's a plus for me kasi gusto ko yung ganon, yung medyo pleasant kasi yung may toxic na chemicals na walang amoy. Mas gusto ko yung may amoy. Pero hindi naman yung super tapang. So, that's the first one. The second one is I like the packaging. Ang ganda, type na type ko, very ano siya, sturdy, ready to go nga. As in, madadala mo siya anywhere, maliit lang. Pwede yung ilagay ko sa maliit kong bag for everyday use, pang travel. Kasi pag nag-travel, gusto ko maliit lang yung bag ko para hindi mabigat. So, gustong-gusto ko to. And also, the shade range. Yung shade range niya kasi, ako kasi, I'm into nude. Yun talaga yung um, go-to colors ko, nudes. So, anyway, Ang pinahayo ko lang <laughs> is yung formula. <laughs> Save the best for last. Yung formula kasi niya watery as in ang weird, ang hirap niya ilagay sa lips na parang lalo na pag nag-overline. Lagi kasi ako nag-overline para lang mas pouty and mas full yung um shape ng lips ko. Ang hirap niya kasi kapag nilagay mo na siya overline diyan. Alam mo yon, parang Lumalagpas-lagpas na siya. Tapos medyo ang hirap na niya i-control. Pag lumagpas, parang, syempre, tatanggalin mo pa. Masisira yung base ng makeup mo. Parang ganun. Stressful lang yung kapag ganun. Kapag na ganun nangyari sa'yo. So anyway, yun nga. Yung formula niya, it's so thin. Although bearable naman, buildable siya. Pero with its price range, there's so many better brands out there. So, yun. Yun lang yung masabi ko. And then, ano pa ba ayaw ko about the formula? Ano siya? It's not kiss-proof. Hindi siya, ano, ayan. Sa pag-inom ko, may marks na agad. Alam mo yun, kung long-lasting to, syempre, you'd expect na 
kahit kumain ka, kahit uminom ka, hindi siya matatanggal. Although, tignan natin sa end of this video, itatest ko to tomorrow, the whole day, papakita ko sa inyo. So, yun lang. Parang, yun lang yung disappointing for me, the formula itself. Ayun. Tapos, since parang soft, matte, may pagka, hindi siya mousse eh. Soft, matte na watery yung effect niya. Parang, you know, hindi na ako naglagay ng lip conditioner ah. Parang, sticky pa rin siya. Ayaw ng sticky eh. Gusto ko yung, walang nafe-feel yung lips ko. Na parang, parang feel ko, wala akong lipstick. Ganun yung gusto ko. Which is, hindi ito yun. Ayun o. Feel na feel ko. Na parang nadidistract tuloy ako. Parang mapapaganon ka. And it's sticky. Ayan o. Can you see? It's sticky. Okay, so that would be all. So I really hope na mabago pa tong review ko by the end of this video kasi ito test out ko to tomorrow for the whole day. So thank you so much guys for watching. Comment down below what you think and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, so I used Peony and ito test ko to the whole day and then I'll let you guys know my thoughts. Anyway, kakain pa lang ako. It's already 1 p.m. It's my first meal of the day. So, I'll see you guys and tignan natin kung okay pa ba siya after ko kumain. So, I just ate and this is what my lips look like. Nawala na oh. Super nipis ng formula. Pero parang pwede pa naman siyang medyo natural ko. So, ganyan-ganyan din ko na. Eh. Isang kain ko, ko pala, ko pala yun. So, we are now in the BP photo shoot. Hi to my vlog. Hi. Tails. I'm watching society. Still think it's unfair. Best two out of three. So episode one palang ako. So ni ko pa kinakapag ko pa kung type ko siya. Hey guys, four hours in, and hindi nangaw ko makain ni. Ita ka isang kain lang ako, and look what happened. Namumu siya na nagde-dry. And nang chop. Sobrang lala as in ang sticky and annoying niya na sa lips kaya parang oh my god, ang pangit. Sobrang pangit niya, okay. As in 4 hours pa lang, parang Hate ko na siya. Parang gusto ko na to tanggalin and itapon. Ganong level.